guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caroline, and here on this channel, I like to do making costumes, also looking at fashion and their influences um, from history, creating, you know, historical garments, and also things inspired by history. So, if you guys are interested in that, please, you know, subscribe right now and become part of the journey. So, Today I wanted to show you guys some great things I found on eBay during the quarantine because I couldn't go thrifting so I was like let me just hone in on my thrifting online skills. So um, I'm going to tell you guys, I'm going to give you my secrets so don't take my size 10 shoes. But no, I'm just kidding, you can if you want to. But I'm going to tell you everything I did that maybe you guys can find some good cheap shoes for costuming reenactment and just cool shoes that have a little bit of a historical flair that you can wear in your everyday life so how i get the shoes is you go on ebay and basically you keyword search certain things like i'll keyword search like 18th century shoes then i look through all of the pages the key is you just have to have a lot of patience and basically just click through every single page and you will find some deals um so you can basically do 18th century shoes and then when it comes up, whatever comes up, then I'll like be able to click through all the things and see what options they have. And by doing this, I was able to find these really great shoes. They're um, Ash Amanda Smith brand. I think they're from the 90s. Like I feel like the 90s had like a resurgence of like 18th century style shoes because they got a lot of kinds that kind of look like 18th century from that uh, time period. And they were like marked as like costume shoes. Um, whatever but they're not really they're like fashion shoes from the 90s um so i got them for like 30 dollars. that was all and um they fit good and they look really nice i think i can wear them for reenacting like um they look i think they really pass as like an 18th century shoe especially because of the heel i guess it's a louis heel i'm not really familiar with all the heels like i'm not like a i'm not a fashion historian or a shoe historian for that matter so really i just kind of look at old pictures basically on pinterest for like inspiration and stuff like that and um this shoe really fits all of it and also the tie really makes it look like 18th century so but i think you could wear it all the way to regency era and then you know you can wear it for modern day times for just a bit of a fun look it kind of looks edwardian too maybe all right the second pair i got by looking up tie up shoes um and another thing I like to do is I like to put in like my favorite brand that's actually really expensive, but I'll just put it in and I'll just click, 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 click through all the things until I find like a cheap one. Um, so it's kind of tedious and I don't really commit to buying it unless it's actually, you know, cheap. So that's what I did for this one because I really love Stuart Weitzman shoes because I think they have really good designs and also they're very well-made shoes um, and they cost like hundreds of dollars normally. Um, so I have a, quite a few pairs of them from eBay for all pretty much under $30. And what I do is I put Stuart Weitzman size 10, that's my size, in their brand. And you can look up different shoe charts and figure out what size you are, like, in their perspective brand. Um, so I would do that, like, it has, like, the measurements. And you can pair those measurements with other um, brands that you know that you're that size. And then you can pretty much see that you're going to fit that shoe. That's how I bought some other, another pair of shoes because um, I was not sure what the sizing. So that's how I did it with that. Um, but I know I'm a size 10 in the Stuart Whites and Juice, so I always look up, and I do this periodically because um, you never know what they're gonna have, you never know what, what you know new listings are gonna come up. So I just do it like every single day. I'll just click, click, click. Um, so that's what I did for this one. And I got the idea, why don't I look up tie-up shoes, tie-up flats, that's what I put in, because a lot of, you know, 18th century, um, all the way up to probably Victorian were pretty much tie shoes. I mean, then it kind of got into buttons, but pretty much tie shoes um, were all the rage. So that's kind of what I look up, and that's how I've been successful in finding these shoes. So basically, I looked up tie-up flats or something, and I found these. And they had them, but they were kind of more expensive in my actual size, which is size 10. But So I just got these, which were size nine but like since they're mules i feel like they're kind of it's all right like 
you know, you can't really tell. And they, they really look like Regency era to me because they had this kind of tie theme going out of Regency era. Regency era had the flat thing going on. And also Regency era had the pointy toe thing going on. So I really think these look really accurate. And if you're wearing it under a dress, really, you wouldn't even see the back. And also mules were a popular thing in the 18th century. So I'm like, you know what? It probably existed. So I'm going to go with it. And also... Um, even if the mule thing wasn't a type of shoe or whatever, you're not going to see the back of the dress. Like, really, you're going to see a glimpse of the top of the shoe. So, you know what I mean? Um, and also, the color is pretty bright and kind of, like, contrasty, which was also popular during the Regency era. So, I'm like, you know what? This is going to look really cool, like, if I wear, like, a white dress and have a pop of this. And also, for all my history-bounding kind of lookbooks, I like to find shoes that you can wear for historic reenactment and then add them to the outfit. I think it's really cool and fun. So that's how I got this pair of shoes and they're really nice quality and these were like $25 I believe like they were super cheap um, so I had to pay for some of them I had to pay for shipping and handling some of the shipping and handling was free so another thing you can do about the pricing you can kind of put in these little criteria you can put like your max and minimum so if you want you could just search for the $30 but sometimes I find it better if you just go through every single thing because like I don't know, you kind of can miss things, and I just want to go through everything and find, you know, all the different kind of shoes. Um, now, this pair is a pair of mules, and it is a Stuart Weitzman brand as well. And I got this, I found this one from searching, like, Stuart Weitzman, size 10, and then just clicking, clicking, clicking. And this shoe, I totally can wear for 18th century stuff, because the mule was really popular in the 18th century. It's satin, so I could, like, wear it dressed up for an 18th century reenactment and it's kind of fancier than my 18th century reenactment shoes I have now the ones I have now are the American Duchess black leather ones which look really nice because I have like a uh, fancy buckle as well so I can use that as well but um you know I kind of wanted the fancier mule type and if I want I could add some embroidery to them too to make them snazzier or I could add some trim or something because they're kind of plain right now but I think they really work and also the the heel seems I think it would be pretty accurate for the time as well and like I said again if you're wearing a long dress you're really going to see just the top so it doesn't matter that much all the really really details so uh these ones looked really good um I think I got them for $35 um no, actually, they were, like, priced down because I waited because I put it on the... Sometimes when you put watch on eBay, the seller will, like, give you a, you know, deal and it'll be, like, cheaper. So I think I did that and they gave... They, like, asked me if I wanted it for $25 and I said yeah, so I got it. Um, and also, if you put it on the watch list and then wait till the end of the bidding, if you want to do that, um, you can usually get it cheaper because, like, nobody else has bid on it and you can just put in your bid, like, right away. Now this last pair I got is probably my favorite. I think it's so cool. And it was um, it was $55 for this pair, but I really, really like them. So I kind of splurge on them because um, I think they're really cool. And I think they can kind of fit for a lot of different centuries. The heel itself, it's not a perfect, like kind of, you know, Frenchish curled heel. I, I'm not sure the names of all these heels, but you know, it has that bit of a curvature. So it really works um, for, a lot of different centuries but when I first saw it I thought wow it looks like 18th century to me because it has that lace up look to it and it also has like that curved in heel and I thought it could look like a kind of fancier um you know look to it it's Stuart Weitzman as well but I think this this is Stuart Weitzman from like early 90s and the other the other two pairs I got are from actually like very recently like a couple years ago because I recognize the boxes like the boxes um from the other two are from like nowadays bo boxes of Stuart Weitzman so I think they're from like a couple years ago but this one is from maybe the early 90s and um they're made out of leather and you know they're a little tight but meh if I'm going to swear in Burmese enactment, it's all right. But I also think they kind of pass for Victorian, um, and they really pass for Edwardian to me because they kind of have that heel and everything. So I could really wear this for multiple centuries. And like I said, for some of the things, you're only going to see a peak of them anyway. So as long as the idea of them comes across, then that's perfect for what I want to do. So those are all the shoes. And um, I hope you guys can find some great shoes for yourself that are like on the cheaper side. I know there's some, some good brands out there that make reenactment shoes, but you know, sometimes they're on the more expensive side and you know, some people are on a budget here. So, uh, we can only, we want to go reenact, but we don't have the money, money for it. 
Um, but now you guys can get shoes at any price, really. Um, and if you want to bid, you can actually bid lower. But I usually just, like, bid what they want or, like, bid or do the buy it now thing. Um, I think it's reasonable to get a pair of shoes for, like, $20, $25 on the low end. I think that's a great deal if you're going to be using it for the reenactment stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have been thrifting on eBay and, and tell me what you guys have found and your tips and tricks. And if this helped you out and you got some cool, you know, Regency or not Regency, but really any period shoes, let me know in the comments because I want to know if it worked. So um, hope you guys find some cool shoes to wear and hope you guys are doing great. If you like this video, please give it a subscribe and um, make t uh, send me a comment in the description below because it really helps me on the algorithm eh, sorry algorithm um and thank you so much for supporting me on this channel i also have a patreon where i do like extra videos and also like you can watch these videos earlier and I have some other tiers too if you guys are interested you can check that out and i also have an instagram that ha that i do like more things that i'm working on at the time you can just get to, to see like a little more about my life in general um because i'd like to post like um, while things are happening in real time. These videos are usually filmed like at least a few weeks in advance so I can have time to edit them. So anyway, see you guys next time. Bye!